Michael, this hasn't been about safety. This is about power and who has it. This is the hill we die on. That's all there is to it. We are not backing down. Tempers flaring in Kansas City on an issue that's become a national debate. Defund the police is definitely a slogan that people on all political sides use in various ways to kind of weaponize the issue. Dr. Rashawn Ray is a sociology researcher and Brookings Institute fellow. Part of what these cities are doing is they're looking at their budgets and they're saying, is the payoff that we're getting for how much money we're spending? Do we see the proof in the pudding? Do we see crime reductions? KCPD's budget has grown almost every year since 2015, topping more than $266 million last year before dropping in 2021. The homicide rate increased nearly every year too, and 2020 was the deadliest year on record. People who want to see police spending increase perceives that all of a sudden that means that crime will go down. That's not what's happening. They are completely unrelated metrics. The ordinance passes. The city ordinances passed in May takes $42.3 million of the total police budget of $256.7 million and puts it into a fund focused on crime prevention, controlled by both the city and police board. The board of police commissioners did see that as an invalid action. And so they filed a lawsuit. Alan Rostron, a law professor at UMKC, says the board's argument claims state law gives it exclusive control over the police, but the city argues they've met statutory requirements of giving them 20% of its general fund. There's really not precedent on this, the specifics of these Missouri statutes. This will really come down to a judge interpreting these particular statutes. And Professor Rostron thinks it's unlikely this issue will get settled out of court. There's broader issues about state versus local power at play. But it could have broader and lasting political impacts all across the state. The state legislature could be annoyed by all of this and they could always amend these statutes. In Kansas City, Matt Evans, KBC 9 News.